What's going on? Mitchell Renz here from Chat Sports NFL Daily, and today's six pack of rumors is brought to you by our good friends and sponsor, Bet the Aside, the number one sports book on the internet. My first rumor is around a tight end, and if you love tight ends as much as I do, you're going to love this rumor. This one's around Hunter Henry, and is he going to play against the New England Patriots? The Chargers tight end was activated to the 53 man roster from the physically unable to perform list, also known as a PUP. List Monday and is set to make his debut Sunday against the New England Patriots. Henry is 24 years old and he suffered a torn ACL in May and has missed all of the regular season. But st after starting 13 of 14 games this season before, he logged 45 catches in his 2016 or 2017 after a breakout rookie campaign where he had eight receiving touchdowns. Henry is going to be on a pitch count. But I love the fact that Hunter Henry is going to be able to go against the New England Patriots because, again, when you look at his 2017 stats, he's going to be a huge, huge help for Phillip Rivers in that offense, especially in the red zone. 45 catches, 579 yards, four touchdowns. Heck, in 2016, as a rookie, like I said, eight touchdowns, which was tied for the most receiving touchdowns by tight end with Cameron Brait. So Hunter Henry, insert him back into that Chargers offense. Maybe Phillip Rivers can finally get a win since uh, right now he's 0-7 against Tom Brady. So with... Hunter Henry going to be on a pitch count. I want to know from you, how many yards will Hunter Henry put up versus New England Patriots? 50? 60? 25? I want to know from you if you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, comment below. If you want to know what I think, DM me on Twitter, at MitchellRenz365. This Patriots-Chargers game is going to be an awesome game. So I want to take a look now at our AFC Divisional round because there's going to be a lot of good matchups here. you got the Colts going up against the Chiefs. Let's give the Colts a little bit of credit. They're playing really solid football. They went into Houston and absolutely dominated them offensively, defensively. But then you got Patrick Mahomes, man. Like, if the Colts can slow down Patrick Mahomes, it's going to be a great game. But this one, I think, is going to be a little bit higher scoring than our next game, which is going to be in New England. And the Chargers, as I stated before, Phillip Rivers, 0-7 all-time against Tom Brady. Patriots, even though they're struggling a little bit down the end of the season, totally different team in the playoffs. Now let's head on over to the NFC Divisional Round, and you got the – Philadelphia Eagles going up against the Saints and uh, good old Nick Foles there, magical Nick Foles going up against Drew Brees, who I hope is the NFL MVP. New Orleans, a total different team in the playoffs. Interesting thing, last time New Orleans went 13-3, they won the Super Bowl. Dallas Cowboys now playing the Los Angeles Rams, and the Rams, another team that started to struggle a little bit down the stretch. Todd Gurley, he's going to be healthy, he's going to be able to play in this game, but if the Dallas Cowboys can get an early lead and they can lean on Ezekiel Elliott, he had 30 touches in, his, in their last game against the Seahawks in that win. Just saying, he might have 40 this week against the Rams. Now, my next NFL rumor is around Colin Kaepernick, and you can't have an NFL rumor segment without Kaepernick, am I right? The Raiders, though, are they going to sign him? If there's anything else that this Oakland Raiders team couldn't do and uh, they're going to create more headlines, it's with Colin Kaepernick. So, Scott Gleason and Todd Shad of USA Today, if their report is correct, Kaepernick is not going to be unemployed for much longer. In a piece where Gleason and Shad made some sports predictions for 2019, they predicted that the Raiders are going to pick up Colin Kaepernick in order to push Derek Carr. Gleason also mentioned that the Raiders are going to be looking to make a big splash. Well, I don't know how much bigger of a splash you're going to get by going to Las Vegas in a few years and then by signing Colin Kaepernick. Raider Nation, you guys know that I love you. I'm really hoping this one doesn't come through, even though I will say this. Colin Kaepernick is a much better than quarterback than Nathan Peterman. I think we can all agree on that. When we look at his career stats, the rushing yards, I think, is the only one thing that maybe we didn't show up on here, but 72 touchdowns, 30 interceptions. That's actually really close to what Andrew Luck had entering this season. Sure, the completion percentage is low, the yards are low, but again, when you have a mobile quarterback like Colin Kaepernick, it's going to be pretty difficult. I mean, look what Lamar Jackson was able to do this entire season. So, would you or will Colin Kaepernick be on an NFL team in 2019? If you're watching on Facebook, give me a heart. If it's a yes, if it's a no, give me a like. If you're on YouTube, comment yes or no. I want to know from you, will Colin Kaepernick be on an NFL team in 2019? Shout out to today's sponsor, Bet the Asai, for hooking up Chat Sports with the best promo code on the internet. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code LIVE120 for a 120% deposit bonus. Mitch, what the heck does that mean? You put down $50, you're going to get $60 for free. Put down $100, get $120 for free. Be a big baller like a toupee Tom. Put down $500, get $600 for free. Shout out to Bet the Asai for going to chat sports with the best promo code on the internet. My next rumor here is coming in. It's Gary Kubiak. And are the Broncos blocking Gary Kubiak? And this one's an absolute block party, but one that I wasn't invited to. The Broncos are blocking Gary Kubiak, though. 
from both the Atlanta Falcons and the Bengals who have requested permission to interview Kubiak, who currently work as the senior personnel advisor for the Broncos. The Cardinals, or the, the Falcons and the Bengals, want Kubiak to be their OC. Kubiak is, is considered one of the top offensive quarter candidates around the league. He is still under contract, though, with Denver, and the Broncos can deny him from leaving. Also, Kubiak has said that he really wants to stay in Denver. And when I look at Gary Kubiak, and I look at this offense, and I look at Case Keenum, and Case Keenum is kind of depressing, but this Broncos offense, when it's successful, is really going to lean on the run, and it's going to lean on that Gary Kubiak style offense. And I like that he's the senior personnel there. And I always did like Gary Kubiak as an OC or as a head coach, especially when he's with the Texans. But I think right now he should stay put with Denver because I definitely wouldn't want to go to Atlanta and I wouldn't really want to go to the Bengals, especially the Bengals. Eh, maybe Atlanta you could sell me on that. Steve Sarkeesian could get some things done. I guess anybody can get it done. So I want to know from you, will Kubiak make a return to head coaching or offensive coordinator? Will he make a return to coaching in general? I want to comment below. Let me know what you think. My next rumor here is around Josh McDaniels and is he interested in the Cleveland Browns head coaching gig? So Dorschick writes that he hears that McDaniels very much likes the job in Cleveland and McDaniels is enthusiastically interested in the Cleveland opening. The Browns have used back channels to indicate a mutual preliminary interest, but there is not an invite for an early interview yet for McDaniels. Also, the Green Bay Packers also invited are very interested in Josh McDaniels and General Manager John Dorsey has been good at cloaking what he's up to. So when I'm looking at the Packers and I'm looking at the Browns and McDaniels right now, I would say is staring at Baker Mayfield in the eyes and is saying, ooh, I could really work with that quarterback. Heck, I work with Peyton Manning, right? I'm a great offensive mind. All I'm going to say is this. Maybe Josh McDaniels is hidden a little bit by Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, right? When you look at his head coaching career, it's small. I get it's a small sample size, but still in two seasons with the Denver Broncos, he was 11 and 17, a winning percentage of .393, zero playoff appearances, like wasn't all that great, right? And then when you look at when he's been, I, I'll say it, actually a decent coach, it's been when he's had Tom Brady. So when he was offensive coordinator with the Broncos, my bad, he actually had Jay Cutler as a quarterback, which yeah, I get is a little bit tough. But again, when you think about Josh McDaniels and the success that he's had, it's been with Bill Belichick, it's been with Tom Brady. So. I'm kind of on the flux about that, but if he thinks that he can work with Baker Mayfield and he likes the idea of working with Baker Mayfield, I don't blame him because the Browns, when they got rid of Hugh Jackson, went from being like PU bad to five and three with Greg Williams. So Josh McDaniels, I think, is at least an interesting candidate. So I want to know from you, okay? Right now, Josh McDaniels has the potential to be the Packers' new head coach and he has the potential to be the Browns' new head coach. So if you're sitting there, you're looking at Aaron Rodgers and you're looking at Baker Mayfield, both of them staring at you in the eyes. Which quarterback would you rather have? I want you to type R for Rodgers or type N for Mayfield. If you want to know what I think, DM me on Twitter, at MitchellRens365. But to be honest, both those quarterbacks, that would uh, they would look pretty good on my sideline. Shout out to Miz and the Maid for making me look good on today's show. Go to www.comfortable.af. The website indeed checks out. These shirts are unbelievably comfortable. They got sweat wicking technology. They're unbelievably stretchy. And if you don't believe me, I want you to get one for yourself. Go to www.comfortable.af. And also, these shirts... They're made in America, so they're by far the best dress, best damn dress shirt you'll ever buy. My next rumor here is around Cliff Kingsbury, and if Josh McDaniels leaves the New England Patriots, guess what? They're going to have an OC position open, and right now there's a rumor floating around that Cliff Kingsbury could be the replacement. This one's from the New York Post. So right now USC is currently blocking teams like the Jets and the Cardinals from interviewing Kingsbury. Kingsbury could, though, find his way out of UC, USC by resigning and paying a low buyout fee. This is per Mike Florio. This is where I think it really gets interesting when you're talking about what Cliff Kingsbury could be, what, could he, what he could do in the future. The fact that Tom Brady has come out and said that he's a fan of Kingsbury in the NFL, guess what? I think that would matter because if Tom Brady, who's the face and the franchise of the New England Patriots, is saying, I think Cliff would do a pretty good job in the NFL, I'd be like, hey, Bill, you hear that? Bring me on in as an OC because I don't know if Cliff could be a head coach because I think it's funny when you think about a coach who struggled in college, right? He struggled in the Big 12. After four seasons, he was fired. He really hasn't done anything. And as what some people say, he's falling upward if he'd be able to struggle in college. Yes, he did create the air raid offense, which was great. And sure, he helped develop one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL right now in Patrick Mahomes. But Cliff Kingsbury as a head coach, I don't know. As an OC with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, 
I, I don't, I really wouldn't mind that. Heck, I, even though I think I could be the OC of the Patriots with Tom Brady. But when you're looking at the past offensive coordinators under Bill Belichick, they've seen actually a lot of success when they've left. So Josh McDaniels is right now the current OC, 2012 to the present. And you got Bill O'Brien, who's been successful in his time with the Houston Texans. Josh McDaniels actually left for a short period. Then it was Bill O'Brien. And then you got Charlie Weiss there, who I think my favorite thing I ever saw with Charlie Weiss, I was at a Penn State game when I was a kid, and somebody held up a sign that said, Charlie Weiss ate my good sign. So whoever made that sign, if you're watching this, shout out to you. All right, I got a question for y'all. Would Cliff Kingsbury make a good NFL OC? I want you to type Y for yes or type N for no. If you're watching on Facebook, just comment yes or no. If you're watching on YouTube, type Y for yes, type N for no. My last rumor here is around Earl Thomas, and is he going to be going to the San Francisco 49ers? So Bleacher Report came out, and they, you know, they predicted where they think some of these free agents are going to be ending up in 2019, and they predicted Earl Thomas to go to the 49ers. Now, we know Earl Thomas ended this 2018 season with a broken leg and a middle finger to his uh, Seahawks sideline, but this is the thing that I think is really interesting. Richard Sherman came out and said, I'm sure we're going to throw a hat in the ring. Now, we've heard that the Dallas Cowboys are interested, but if the 49ers, who also have a good amount of money to spend, are really interested in them, I think it's something that we need to keep an eye on. Now, when you look at his 2018 stats, yeah, it's only four games, but he was productive in those four games. 22 tackles, five pass breakups, and the three interceptions. Like, Earl Thomas is getting close to 30. Heck, he might be 30. I don't know the exact number, but he's still an absolute ball hawk. And you look at his career stats. 664 tackles, a nice amount of pass breakups, 28 interceptions, and two touchdowns. Earl Thomas is still playing elite football, and I think if you could get him on any team, an NFL franchise would be very lucky. So, where is Earl Thomas going to play in 2019? I want to know from you. I want you to comment below. And if you want to know what I think, DM me on Twitter, at MitchellRens365. Where is Earl Thomas going to play in 2019?